Welcome to Shelter 2. The original Shelter was a flawed gem of a game where you played as a badger, protecting their younglings. And in this one, you do the same thing except you play as a lynx. As always, if you'd like to play this for yourself, I'll have some links in the description. I've played it for about 15 minutes so far just to get used to the controls, but let's go ahead and start a new game. I've got my family tree. Let's start a new family. Yes, I want to erase my family. Goodbye. Alright, so I'm hunting for a den. And I need to run the hell out of here or I'm gonna get eaten. Much more peaceful now. Hello, stars. Look at that sky. I'm not entirely sure why they're there, but they're very pretty. This is my den.
the best things about these games are the adorable babies. Look at them. And, just like in the previous game, you get to name your kids. Unfortunately, though, I really get stuck on naming... on naming them. Like, I remember last time when I came up with names for my cubs. Or, well, I guess badger babies are maybe not called cubs? I'm not quite sure. But anyway, it took me a very long time to come up with names. Like, I just completely obsess over it. And to make it even harder, the names are limited to, I think, six characters. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can't go over six characters. So I'm just going to go with the auto-generated names. Let's go with that. Bova, Solda, Kerr, and Vavi. Then again, I might... You know, I'm probably not going to be able to tell them apart unless I give them specific names. Ooh. I'm not going to remember the names and... Mm, okay, you know what? I think I do have to come up with names. Hold on. Okay, don't judge me, but I'm giving them functional names. I want to be able to actually remember their names this time, and I also don't want to spend 2,000 hours on the screen, so I'm just going to go with functional names and pray to God that their coats don't change color. Please don't change color. Please don't change color. I'm going to be so screwed if they do. Oh, wait. Can I change your name, too? Ah, I can't. It's always... Ina? I'm assuming it's pronounced Ina. Or Ina. Ina sounds cooler, though. Alright, so I have white, orange, tan, and brown. Let's take a look at my babies. They sound so cute. Oh. I wish you could see them closer. Oh, there we go, kinda. There they are. They're so tiny. Okay, my call is not nearly as cute as theirs. I listen to them respond. Alright, so I need to find some food to help them. So let's go hunting, but uh, before I do that, I do want to mention one thing real quick. So, this game has some serious problems with the controls. I don't want to go into too much detail because I feel like it would kind of ruin the flow of the video if I just suddenly stopped for like four minutes just to talk about the controls. But it's serious enough that I made a separate video specifically about it. So if you're interested in what's going on with the controls and what my problems with it are, then go check out that video. I'll have it linked in the description. And if you're not interested in that, then don't worry, just suffice to say the controls are very bad, they don't feel good, and I probably am going to be moving around as if I'm kind of drunk. So just FYI, anyway, let's go hunting. Come here. That was easy. So I think you just basically sprint and run up to uh, your prey, and then if you kind of like run into it, you just kind of automatically take it into your mouth, kill it, and then feed it to your young. Ah, oh, such cute little meat eaters, tearing apart flesh, blood flowing onto the ground. And the snow is starting to melt.
music and the art is really just wonderful. Such a beautiful game. Ah, I ran out of sprint. Got to take it easy for a minute. My sprint meter's in the bottom left, by the way. sort of hunter's sense where you can see not only the prey around you but also your home so it kind of shows you where the important stuff is and there's also a map as well a good sound? Are they... Oh, are they actually gonna start to follow me now? They're they're strong enough? Hello, little ones. Stay close. So what if I go sprinting? Are they gonna actually keep up? Uh, okay, they can't quite keep up. <laughs> they look so cute trying to run after me with their tiny legs. Hmm, what is this? Under the tree, is that like a, a thing? Oh, what is that? See? Oh, this game has collectibles. I do not care at all. Goodbye. I really don't care about collectibles. Anyway, let's get some more food. Just keeping in mind that I don't want to leave them too far behind. I hear them behind me. Come here! Tricky little bastard. Isn't it funny how it's all a matter of perspective? As far as, like, the food chain goes? I mean, I'm hunting these rabbits, trying to feed my young, but you can just imagine playing another shelter game where you actually play as the rabbit, and the lynxes are trying to eat you, and from that perspective, the lynxes are the assholes, just like the wolves were the assholes a minute ago. But they're really not. It's all relative. There we go. Oh no, only two got fed, come on. Hmm. Oh, they even get blood on their paws. Gruesome. Take a look around. Ah, there we go. You know, it might be better to sneak up on them without sprinting first. I'm not sure. I need to try that. Try some more advanced uh, hunting tactics. Wait for them to gather around first. There we go. Oh, once again, only two can eat at the same time, it seems like. So it's... So it's orange and white that it did not get to eat that time. So let me see if they get to eat next time or something. Like, I don't know if they automatically kind of divvy up the food naturally, or if I have to do it myself. Alright, let's try to sneak up first, and let's see. I don't... As far as I know, there's no, like, sneak key? Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. Yeah, look at that. I it looks like I automatically enter a kind of... Oh, wait. That didn't work. Maybe I don't blend in very well. Hey, 
Is that a rat? Hmm, that one only feeds one. What is it doing? It's like doubling back and forth. Where did it go? I have no idea where it went. Oh, come here. These are really easy to catch. They're very slow. Uh, let's give it to Orange. Here you go. Now, I don't know what that symbol means. That one over there, because... That one up there is my home, but what is that one, though? Like, frozen? Is it like a frozen biome or something? I guess we can head over in that direction. Alright, let me try to sneak up again. Again, I'm guessing, like, I don't have any cover, or maybe my coat's not the right color, so they're gonna see me. Yeah, they saw me. Let's feed orange and brown next. Orange and brown, orange and brown, there we go. Okay, maybe we can sneak in this stuff. Maybe this axe is cover? I don't know if it's tall. Oh, one just get me by. Goodbye. Just ran within like two inches of my face. to uh, divvy it up between orange and brown and tan and white each time, trying to alternate. Are they getting bigger already? I can't tell. I also can't remember who I gave it to last time. Oh, it's getting dark. We need to get home. Hey, wait, where, where are they going? Come come back. Eggs? Do they want the eggs? I don't know, we gotta go. Come on. Wait. They don't want to come? Oh, they're feasting on the eggs. They really like those eggs. Alright, you good? What is a little one doing? Come on. Is it gonna follow? Is it gonna follow? Oh, there we go. Alright, home is there. I wish there's like an in-between running speed. There's like super fast sprint and then really slow walk. Looks like they do a pretty good job of catching up. 
I'm not sure if this is supposed to be nighttime at the moment and it's just relatively bright, or if it's like almost night. Anyway, I think we're home. Mm hmm. I think I'm on the wrong side. Oh. They have to go around. Uh. Oh, there we go. Okay, we're good. I don't know what those noises and those flashes were. Did something just happen? Oh, I just picked one up. I didn't know you could pick them up. Can we not, like, uh, sleep? Hmm. Maybe we actually need to move. Anything on the map? It's a thing on the map. I have no idea what that represents. Looks kind of like a rock. Yeah, I think we maybe need to go here. Oh, it looks like it's daylight again anyway, so no problem. I guess we need to move to a new den or something. Let's uh, do it and feed along the way. Oh, I just missed it. Mouse right. Oh, is that to eat myself? I guess I haven't been eating. My, I haven't been eating myself, have I? I'll try that next time. Ooh, so many bunnies. See if I can sneak up to them through the trees. Yeah, it didn't really work. Okay, see if I can eat myself. Wait, what? Oh, wait. That wasn't... That wasn't telling me to eat myself. That was just saying how to use my, like, hunter's sense, I guess? Because I just realized right mouse button is what I've been pressing to do this. Uh... Okay. Tan and white next time to feed. Oh, you can actually see size differences, can't you? Yeah, look at that. White and tan are way smaller than orange and brown. just gorgeous. Now which ones are the smallest again? I completely forgot. Was it 
like white and tan? I don't know. Now they all look kind of the same size, which can't be right. No, they're different. My mind's playing tricks on me. Now, so far I haven't found any predators. But at some point they're going to pop up. And it's going to get a lot harder to protect them. I think I just fed the wrong ones. I think it's the... Yeah, it's the white and tan one, isn't it? I guess you can even tell which ones you've recently fed because they do they do have the blood on their uh, on their faces and on their paws for quite a while. Can we swim? That's a no. Should we head to the swamp? I suppose so. Doesn't seem dangerous. Ooh, eggs. Come feast! left to drink water. Oh. Uh, what exactly does that do? Oh, look at them drink. It's so cute. <laughs> I wonder if it, like, 
restores my stamina, maybe? Try running around for a bit. Looks like my stamina is not going up. Oh, I think it maybe not only restores my stamina, but actually allows it to increase over what the amount I can naturally regen to is. So it can actually give me, like, bonus stamina, I think. for map. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I can't say I find it terribly useful. I don't really know which way is north and which way is south. Not on the map, but in in-game. going to assume that I'm going to the right area. Although, actually, it kind of looks like this is blocked off. So I guess we have to go around. Yeah, I really have no idea where I should be heading, actually. I don't know if I should go towards the ice, whatever that means, towards that. Probably towards that, unless... is that where I just came from? I don't think so.
Hello, Froggy. You know, I think that actually might be where I came from. So I think I am actually heading the wrong way. Yeah, like, I can't navigate this map at all. Although... It looks like the icon that I was just looking at the way that I think I've been before it. I mean, the map shows it as kind of unexplored, right? So I guess I haven't been there. I guess not. Oh, you know what? I think this is where I just came from, because it looks like the map doesn't actually get revealed. Because I just traveled from, like, the center of the map off to the side, and it looks like it didn't actually reveal any of the pathway. This map is really weird. Yeah, I think I've just gone back. Let me just make sure of that. Yeah, this is back where I was before. There's my old home. Um, I mean, I guess I could try heading towards the ice thing from here? See where this goes? Sure. Gotta say, as much as I like this game, it's it's artwork, it's music. It does have some serious usability issues. So not only are the controls very bad, as I mentioned before, but this map is also really, really bad. I mean, I can't move it around. When I leave it, I'm not even sure where north is. So I can't like look on this map and say, oh, I need to go east, and go, oh, I'm heading towards east. I have no idea. I have to try to like, uh, Remember what icon I was looking at on the map and then match it to the icon here? It's really not good at all. And I fear that this map might be closed off, so I probably have to go to the other place to actually get here, I'm assuming. 
Unless I can, like, jump over. Nah, that's a... It's a big wall, isn't it? Well, maybe not. Oh yeah, this is definitely the way. Be careful now. Go slow. Where's the fourth one? Oh, are you afraid? No, it's coming. Well, you know, if you're afraid, let me... Can I just take you? There we go. You're fine. Come with me. So it seems like this game is semi-open world. Here we go. Oh. The burning ball of gas in the sky is getting a bit dim. Okay, so I think we need to make a mad dash for the den. But before that, I think I'll end this episode here before it becomes way too long. So, so far I'm really enjoying it. Um, it reminds me a lot of the original. I feel like it has pretty much the same strengths and pretty much the same weaknesses from what I can remember. I'm trying to remember how the controls were for the original. I'm pretty sure they were pretty much just about the same. But, uh... But yeah, the pluses are exactly the same. It's it's got great a great art style, wonderful music. It's just very beautiful. And it's just lovely to be in the role of of an animal taking care of their their young. It just feels really good. And at the same time, it as much as that feels good, the controls don't feel good and there is some usability problems with the map and stuff like that, but it's a uh, I'm feeling like this is probably another flawed gem. Another game that I really like, and... Actually, you know what? In fact, so far it's actually been better than the original. We'll see. We'll have to see what happens later, but... The original did suffer from a lot of heavily scripted sequences. And it, it ended up feeling very linear. Like you were just kind of shoved down paths and these scripted things happened that felt like they were completely out of your control. And they felt kind of... kind of fake. So, we'll have to see if the same thing happens here, but I'm hoping not. Anyway, it's very enjoyable so far. I can't wait to get back into it. I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.